Cheryl, both campaigns in this remaining week or so accusing the other of divisive rhetoric. And tonight, members of the Chicago Puerto Rican community are demanding an apology from the Trump campaign. In the heart of Humboldt Park, anger, outrage, and a show of Puerto Rican pride. We cannot continue to stand back and allow for anyone to come and publicly disrespect us completely as an island, as a people, and as a community. So when they speak against the immigrants, they speak against us. Yeah. Yeah. This protest comes a day after a comedian at former President Donald Trump's New York City rally said this about Puerto Rico. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. The Trump campaign said that joke doesn't reflect the views of President Trump or the campaign, but did not address other offensive comments at that rally from multiple speakers, instead accusing Democrats of divisive rhetoric. Kamala Harris's closing message is essentially that all of Donald Trump's voters are Nazis, and you should get really pissed off about a comedian telling a joke. He's Hitler. And then they say he's a Nazi. I'm not a Nazi. I'm the opposite of a Nazi. Both campaigns preparing to deliver closing arguments. At a rally in Michigan, Vice President Kamala Harris giving voters this choice. So either it's Donald Trump sitting in there, <laughs> stewing, stewing over his enemies list, or me, with your help, working for you, checking off my to-do list. Tomorrow, Harris will deliver what's billed as her closing argument in Washington at the Ellipse near the Capitol, which is where Trump encouraged supporters to march on the Capitol on January 6, 2021. Trump is scheduled to have a press event in Florida in the morning.